but it's, it's good to be back. I want to, you know, I want to thank these guys for having me. It's, it's been a while since, uh, I want to give you a quick story. So back in, I think it was back in 19, or 2007, uh, they had, this is when I was the assistant for the Rapids, so they asked me to come speak at the, at the, at this banquet, the, the MVP Cup winner, uh, the, the, the dinner, I'm sorry, it wasn't a dinner though, that's what I was trying to say. Back then it was a breakfast, Sunday morning, I think it was like 8 o'clock in the morning, so I'm there speaking, I'm like, hmm, these kids are awake, so I think, I think you guys got a little bit luckier right now. Uh, so, so I want I to kind of start on a quick story about that time that I did speak at it. Um, and I'm going to give you a few hints, and somebody can tell me if they think who, who this player is that was one of the MVP Cups, uh, sorry, MVP uh, uh, recipients. And so I'll give you a couple hints. So she, she, plays on the, she plays on the United States national team. She was the 2018 um, MVP of the, the Women's League this year, or sorry, in 2018, sorry, last year. And um, she, she's obviously from Colorado. She played with Colorado Rush. Anybody have an idea? <laughs> Very good, yeah. So, quick story. So she, you know, she was probably 12, 13 at the time, sitting in that same spot, that spot that you are right now. And, and look, look at where she is today, you know. I mean, and she was dedicated. And at the time, a few years later, I was able to watch some of her, some of her growth. I was the, the academy director for Colorado Rush at the time. And, and I would always see her out on the fields. You know, whether they're, you know, the teams are training there, or her team was training, she was always out there, always looking for, for more things to do. Individually, she'd be on the side, she couldn't find anything to do, she'd be kicking the ball around, juggling the ball around. And there'd be times, like if I was coaching a, a, one of the, the boys' teams, one of the top boys' teams, she'd come and she'd come and say, hey, can I train with you guys? And she was probably better than a lot of the boys at the time, too. So I just wanted to tell you, if you keep doing this, you know, this is, don't, don't stop being a, you know, an MVP right now. Try to think of your future. Look where she is today. Look what, look what the, she put a lot of time into it though. You had a lot of dedication. And I'm sure some of you guys know her and some of you see her. And she, her, her game is just boom. It's unbelievable how she is right now. And you know, just, and, it, and that's just, just a quick story about um, what, what she wants to do. And she was a great, she was a great role model for her teammates also. Um, and just, the, just the person she was, but uh, that was just a quick, just a quick, uh, you know, example of, hey, who knows, who's, who's going to be there from one of you guys? Um, yeah, so, so a lot of, a lot of the coaches here know me. I used to, I used to be involved with, uh, well, a few, a few clubs around <laughs> coaching the youth uh, before I took this job down in the Springs, um, and and I've and I've known a lot of, I've known a lot of uh, players that have been in your position. They've, they've won this award. Um, but now what are you going to do with this? Are you going to be satisfied with, with what, you, what you got now? Or are you going to be like Lindsey Aran and try and push yourself and try and dedicate yourself to this game? Um, it, it, there's, 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 a, there's, a, there's a lot of, a lot of time, a lot of dedication you got to put into this if you want to get to that next level. And um, she, she's, just, she's just a great example. There's a lot of examples around, around uh, the state of Colorado. Um, and, and if you don't know, there's a big, rich history of, of players in this, in this, in, from this state. Um, players that have went on to play, you know, top Division One universities. Players that have won national championships from from the, in, in the college. You know, there's 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 players currently in the in the youth national team system. A lot of play, a lot of ex players that were in that system. There are players that have been played on the full national team. You know, there's players that uh, have played professionally. Um, some some have went on to play abroad, and so there's a lot of options for you out there. But are you going to be satisfied what you what you have done right now? You know, I I've, I've seen the growth of soccer in this state. When I first when I first came here, you know, Nate went kind of through my whole history. But I mean, if, it's, it'll take a whole whole day to talk about how soccer was back then and to where to where it is now and what what I had to go through and play. But um, yeah, so I you know I came I came here first in 1996. Uh, um, I, th I thought I was going to be in Tampa, but I had to come to the mountains here. And I'm the first guy there, I'm like, what the heck am I doing here? It's freaking too cold. So, but uh, no, I, I came to I came to love this place. So, like like, like Nate said, I, I I played here till middle of '99, and I was traded to Tampa. Finished my career down there in 2001, and then um, came back here as the assistant for the Rapids from 2003 to 2007, I think it was. So, um, but. Looking at the growth of, of soccer in this state has been unbelievable. You know, I, while I was playing when I came here for the Rapids, I tried to I tried to be involved with the youth, 
And back then, really, it was just really the, the Colorado Youth Leagues. You know, there wasn't a whole lot, whole lot else going on except that. But there were players coming out of here, players that developed went to, went to colleges at times when they were involved with the national team. Um, but just to see the growth in, in this state of, it's, it's just unbelievable. I mean, and I know these guys do a great job of, of helping you coaches. Um, and, I, and I know for a fact, in this state, there are top coaches, a lot of, lot of ex-pros, um, and, and I know these guys, and I know, and I know the, the, the work they do with you guys. So listen to your coaches. You know, take, take the advice they're giving you, and try and get to that next level. Don't be, satis don't be satisfied with what you've done. Try and keep getting better. Because this, this is a great game, and I love this game, and, and I, love, I love seeing Colorado players get to that next level. Um, and so keep listening and keep learning from them. Uh, and, and all the programs are available now. You know, like, like we're talking about, there's, there's just right when I was when I was growing up, when uh, when I first came here in '96, like I said, there were just the leagues. Now you got, I mean, you got uh, the DA, you got the ECNL league, um, you've got what else? You got still ODP, um, you got still got the youth leagues. There's so many things for you guys as players right now to strive for, um, and, and so and that's going to get you to that next level. You know, there's, 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 like I said, there's great coaches out there. Listen to them, learn from them, and hopefully you can get to that next level if that's if that's what you want to do. And, and on that on that point, you know, talking, we were talking over here about the, the scouting. Um, Coach Friday, you know, him and I, we do some of the, the the scouting for U.S. soccer still, trying to find those players uh, to get to that next level to get to the youth national teams. But I know for a fact that that the, whether it's college, whether it's U.S. soccer. These coaches, they, they, or these scouts, they love watching Colorado players, and they're always they're always looking for them. They they know they're well coached, you know. They know they're hardworking, they're dedicated players here. And so, if you can if you can get to that next level, if you can be seen by these 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 scouts, you can get to that next level. And so, like I said, there's a lot of opportunities out there for you, um, and hopefully, you can take advantage of them. Um, I want to leave you with one 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 last thought. I'm not going to take time because I know you guys want to get your rewards here, uh, but. Ask, I ask so the, the players, who's going to be the next? Who's going to be the next Lindsey Horan? Who's going to be the next Mallory Pugh? You know, players that come out of here and have had very much success in the last year or two. Who's going to be the next Cole Bassett? Who's going to be the next Sammy Vines? You know, two two homegrown players that the Rapids have signed. You know, didn't even go to college right out of high school. You know, who, who's who's going to be out of this group here? Who, who who's going to be that? Can you strive for that? Can you dedicate yourself for that? Um, you know, I know these players, and I know, uh, I know, especially like Sammy Vines and Cole Bassett. They they might actually be down with me this year because we have an affiliation with the, with the Rapids this year. But I know what they've went through. You know that there's going to be times. Hey, your friend's going to say, Hey, let's go do this. Are you going to do that? Or are you going to go to the field and work on your game? You know. So that's that's one of those things you got to decide of what what you got to put into this game to do it. There's so much available right now to to learn from this game. Like I said, learn from your coaches. Learn from hey, watch TV, watch TV. There's there's games on 24/7 right now. You you know watch watch what they're doing on the field. If you play a specific position, watch what that watch what that player is doing off the ball. Don't always just follow the ball. Watch what that player is doing. You know there, there's tons of things around around this state to watch. You know DU has had this fantastic. I mean last four or five years they've been you know one of the top teams in the country. Go watch those and see what what level that is. You got to get to. Come go watch the Rapids. Come down to the Springs and watch us play. Um, we're, the, we're the league right underneath the Rapids. Um, and I, my, you know, my guys, a lot of them will play in the MLS. A lot, of, a lot of them will play abroad. So it's a very, it's a, it's a big, it's a, it's a high brand of soccer. And now with our affiliation with the Rapids, it should be even better. Hopefully, if not, I'm gonna be out of the job. So you know, but, um, you know, you know, keep keep learning and keep trying to dedicate yourself to this game. Um, but first, yeah, I just want to congratulate all you, all the, the MVPs. Um, and I know, I know it's put a lot of time, parents, you're a big part of it, like, like Nate was saying earlier. Um, and yeah, listen to your parents, guys. But uh, no, I want to thank you guys. And now let's, uh, you know, let's get to these awards for you guys, right? Good?